concepts, conventions and accounting terms. Dear students, before we take up accounting concepts, conventions and few accounting terms, let us know A. What is accounting? B. Why do we need accounting? C. What is the purpose of accounting? What is accounting? Accounting can be defined as the production of financial information. Accounting allows us to know how much money you are earning, how much you are spending, how much you are worth and where you can improve your financial status. Why do we need accounting? Without accounting, you cannot ascertain your income, expenses, profit and plan further growth of your monetary dealings and business. What is the purpose of accounting? The purpose of accounting is to understand how you are making money and in turn how you are using it. Accountancy provides you with the skills you need to manage your money where you can trace and categorize your expenses and effectively budget your income. This allows you to determine and manage exactly how much you send, spend on essentials and non-essential items to plan the savings and earning capacity as well. Accounting Concepts While implementing accounting in our day-to-day -day affairs, we come across few accounting concepts which imply the principles to follow while accounting. They are as follows. 1. Business Entity Concept 2. Money Measurement Concept 3. Dual Aspect Concept 4. Going Concern Concept 5. Cost Concept 6. Accounting Year Concept Matching Concept 8. Realization Concept let us discuss the accounting concepts one by one. Business Entity Concept A business has a legal entity. It separates the owner and business as two independent legal persons as far as their financial transactions are concerned. For example, a owner brings rupees 10,000 as his capital into his own business but here, as the business has legal entity, it considers 10,000 rupees as a liability to A, the owner, towards his share of capital into the business. Thus, though the business is of his own, the business owes A for his investment to the business. Money measurement concept. Only business transactions that can be expressed in terms of money are recorded in accounting. The records of other types of transactions may be kept separately. That means the transactions not expressed in terms of money like obtaining or exchange of facilities are not recorded as mandatory transactions. For recording them, they need to be assessed and converted into monetary values and then recorded. Dual Accept Concept for every debit, there must be a corresponding credit. The recording of a transaction is complete only with this dual aspect of debit and credit. For example, when the salary is paid in cash, the expense account salaries is debited and the cash account is credited as a transaction and the books of accounts. Because the business is incurring the expense on the debit side, and the business is losing cash towards payment of salary on the credit side of this transaction. Thus, every transaction must have dual debit and credit within itself for a recording. Going concern concept. In accounting, a business is expected to continue for fairly a long time and carry out its commitments and obligations. This assumes that the business will not be forced to stop functioning and liquidate its assets. That means the business is not expected to be opened for a shorter period like one month, one year as such. It implies that the business will be continued for a continued period of time, month after month, 
year after year until it could not run or close its business under unexpected circumstances. Thus the business is in the form of continuously a go and going concern for a future period of time. The transactions may have impact on the future period of time as well for the dealings in business with the related parties concerned. Cost concept The fixed assets of a business are recorded in on the basis of their original cost in the first year of accounting. Subsequently, these assets are recorded minus depreciation. No raise or fall in market price is taken into account. The concept applies only to fixed assets. Accounting year concept Each business chooses a specific time period to complete a cycle of the accounting process, for example, monthly, quarterly, or annually, as per the fiscal or a calendar year. Matching concept This principle dictates that for every entry of revenue recorded in a given accounting period, an equal expense entry has to be recorded for correctly calculating profit or loss in a given period. Realization concept. According to this concept, profit is recognized only when it is earned. An advance or fee paid is not considered a profit until the goods or services have been delivered to the buyer. Accounting conventions. Now comes the accounting conventions. There are four main conventions in practice in accounting. 1. Conservatism. 2. Consistency. 3. Full Disclosure and 3. Materiality Conservatism Conservatism is the convention by which when two values of a transaction are available, the lower value transaction is recorded. By this convention, profit should never be overestimated and there should always be a provision for losses. Consistency Consistency prescribes the use of the same accounting principles from one period of an accounting cycle to the next so that the same standards are applied to calculate profit and loss. Materiality Materiality means that all material facts should be recorded in an accounting. Accountants should record important data and leave out insignificant information. Full disclosure. Full disclosure entails the revelation of all information both favorable and detrimental to a business enterprise and which are of material value to creditors and debtors. Basic accounting terms. After the accounting concepts and conventions, let us have a quick look at some of the important accounting terms. Accounting equation, accounting methods, Accounts Receivable, Accounts Payable, Assets, Debit and Credit, Double Entry Bookkeeping, Financial Statements, Balance Sheet, Profit and Loss Statement, Income Statement, Cash Flow Statement, Journal Entry, Journal Ledger, Single Entry Bookkeeping. Accounting Equation The Accounting Equation is written as follows. Assets is equal to Liabilities plus Stakeholders Equity This means that all the assets owned by a company have been financed from loans, from creditors and from equity from investors. Assets here stands for cash, accounts receivable, inventory, plant and machinery, etc. that a company possesses. Accounting Methods Companies choose between two methods, cash accounting or accrual accounting. Under cash basis of accounting, preferred by small businesses, all revenues and expenditures at the time when payments are actually received or sent are recorded. Under accrual basis of accounting, income is recorded when earned and expenses recorded when incurred, irrespective of payments made. Accounts receivable. The sum of money owed by your customers after goods or services have been 
delivered and used by them. Accounts payable. The amount of money you owe creditors, suppliers, etc. in return for goods and services they have delivered. Assets. Fixed and current. Current assets are assets that will be used within one year. For example, cash, inventory, accounts receivable, etc. Fixed assets, non-current, may provide benefits to a company for more than one year. For example, land, plant and machinery, etc. Debit. A debit is an accounting entry that either increases an asset or expense account, or decreases the liability or equity account. It is entered in the left in an accounting entry. Credit. A credit is an accounting entry that either increases the liability or equity account or decreases an asset or expense account. It is entered on the right in an accounting entry. Double entry bookkeeping. Under double entry bookkeeping, every transaction is recorded in at least two accounts, as a credit in one account and as a debit in another account. For example, an automobile repair shop that collects 10,000 rupees in cash from a customer enters this amount in the revenue credit side and also in the cash debit side. Financial Statements the financial statements are the documents that reveals the financial transactions of a business or a person. The three most important financial statements for businesses are balance sheet, profit and loss statement, income statement and cash flow statement. Balance sheet. A financial report that provides a gist of a company's assets and liabilities and owner's equity at a given time. Profit and loss statement, income statement, a financial statement that summarizes a company's performance by reviewing revenues, costs and expenses during a specific period. Cash flow statement, the cash flow statement of a business shows the balance between the amount of cash earned and the cash expenditure incurred. Journal entry, an entry in the journal that records financial transactions in the chronological order. General Ledger, a complete record of financial transactions over the life of a company. Single Entry Bookkeeping, under the Single Entry Bookkeeping, mainly used by small businesses, income and expenses are recorded through daily and monthly summaries of cash, receipts and disbursements. In the next lecture, we will discuss about Fundamentals and Objects of Bookkeeping, Transactions, Debit and Credit, Balancing the Account, Types of Accounts and Rules of Debit and Credit.